tragic shootings at schools, events, and public places across the country, they're changing how our firefighters and first responders do their job. Fire officials tell us they're gearing up with military-grade equipment because they need to be prepared for anything. News Channel 5's Tara Molina is live at Lindhurst Fire Department. And Tara, do they have enough of this equipment in Lindhurst? Well, they have some of the equipment, but they've applied for a grant that will allow them to outfit every single person on duty, and they're hoping to get them by, the, by next year. Now, this isn't the only department in the area prioritizing emergency response gear. It's not standard gear for the job, but mentor firefighter David Horvath and all of his colleagues have been trained to wear and use this military-grade equipment. Of our SWAT members came over and showed us how to wear it. Ballistic vests, helmets, tourniquets, and special gauze and patches for bullet wounds. These are the newest life-saving tools of his trade. Sure. Battalion Chief Ronald Zack told me they bought this equipment with the fire department's budget two years ago after the Chardon school shooting in 2012, where three students were shot and three killed on school property. And unfortunately, we've had more and more occur throughout the country nationwide. Um, so we're there, we're first responders, um, we're going to try to get in shortly there, you know, when, when police enters. But they want to get in safely, and he said in this day and age, they can't afford to not be prepared. But we need to be prepared to handle every situation. They're not alone. Just 13 miles down the road, a department is modeling their emergency response efforts after mentors. Lindhurst is one of 16 departments on Cleveland's east side participating in a rescue task force program for active shooter threat events. And they just applied for a grant that would allow them to expand. Now the fire department, EMS workers, we used to wait until the whole scene was secured and have to wait until SWAT to be secure the scene. Now we will go in with. Um, officers, police officers that will be our force protection, and we will go in and try to start treating the victims right away. It costs a little more than 1200 bucks to outfit one person. Chief Carroll hopes they're awarded the grant so they don't have to find a way to budget for more gear. He said it could be part of standard uniform in a few more years. Because firefighters and EMTs are working closer with police officers than ever before in dangerous situations that can pop up just about anywhere. It's not a matter of if it's when it's going to occur. And it may not occur in the city of Lindhurst, it might occur in one of the neighboring communities, and we're going to be responding there. Lindhurst Fire will find out if they were awarded that grant by this spring. They hope to have the equipment by this summer. And for a whole list of departments who currently have and are using this emergency response gear, head to our app. It's the NewsNet 5 app. Live in Lindhurst, Tara Molina, News Channel 5.